D-D-D-I-Y. JQ Smith is a well accomplished songwriter, vocal producer for artists, singers like Beyonce, Usher, and more. But listen to what he says about the reality of being a part of a, a hit making song. You think, bro, you think you want a hit. You think you want the success. You think you want people to know your name. You think you want the car. You think you want the plaques. That is not what you want. Oh, God, I promise you that's not what you want. What you want is to be happy. Mm. And we just associate that success with happiness. Mm. But it doesn't work that way. Like, I feel like we're all born with a very specific size hole in our heart. Yep. And it is your job to do the work to figure out what that is, yep. what fills that hole. Because if if you are a little anxious or a little depressed, when you get the the hit or the success, you're going to become super anxious. Magnified everything. Super, yeah. yeah. Like, mm. because you're going to find out that what you thought the answer was, was not it. We're all in this room, music related somehow some way regardless if you're someone who's pursuing the industry whether you're a diy or an independent D-D-I-Y. we all have our own visions of what that success is going to look like and we all make an assumption that in somehow some way it's going to lead to whatever our definition our word that we use in place of happiness is when we see people who go through this process if we have not yet gone through this process It makes us scratch our head and really ask questions about, damn, why did bro crash out so badly? How could you lose that amount of money? Man, how could you mess up that bad? Bro, how could you fumble the bag like that, my boy? We ask these questions and I feel like as time goes on and you hear artists like a T-Pain reveal the true stories of what happened and not just the things that happened to them, but the things that they did to themselves, While in pursuit of what I think JQ was talking about, that happiness is something that can break down the strongest human being that you know. When you feel like you have been pursuing something that is completely out of your reach, everybody around you has made you to believe that this is not even a possibility for someone like you coming from where you're coming from. Having the upbringing that you've had. Oh, you just know in your heart. Oh, when I finally have it, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. And maybe for you, it may be a level of success in your business as a producer and artist. But you get that thing. Maybe it's a, a materialistic item, but you get that thing. And then you recognize the worst shit ever. It's not enough. What fills that hole? Because if if you are a little anxious or a little depressed, when you get the the hit or the success, you're going to become super anxious. Magnified everything. Yeah. Yeah. It starts to lead you down a pathway of trying to fill up that void that he's talking about. I learned this the hard way. There was a study in 2010 that said money could only boost happiness up to a point, about $75,000 in annual earnings. Beyond that figure, the researchers concluded money had very little impact. When you dive deeper into this study, what they talk about is this phenomenon that occurs from when you're in like poverty, $10,000 a year, a year, right? That you're surviving on everything. So when you get that initial boost to like 50,000 and at least the bare necessities are not needed to be taken care of anymore. At least you don't worry about how you're gonna afford toilet paper, right? Then you start to experience growth within whatever business or field that you're in when you reach up to $75,000. What these researchers said is that after $75,000, your reasoning changes for why you want more money. Things like wanting to keep up with the Joneses. I got friends that got this kind of money and now these are the things that we value amongst this circle. Mind you, I've had multiple years at six figures for quite some time. First, it was from selling beats. Next, it was from courses. Then it was from generating content. Then it was from affiliate marketing through my work with companies like DistroKid. And it took me moving into this home that I'm in now to recognize that my happiest moments, and J. Cole talks about this, my happiest moments were when I had just a vision of what this might feel like. Oh God, I promise you that's not what you want. What you want is to be happy. And we just associate that success with happiness. Mm. The part they don't talk about, once you achieve that thing that you thought was so out of your reach, 
JQ talks about that being a hit song. Nobody's guaranteeing you happiness. Nobody's guaranteeing that you're going to fill up that hole because you have more money. That wasn't the thing that was going to truly fulfill you. Because you're going to find out that what you thought the answer was, was not it. What I've learned in this time period that I have been a YouTuber, post me pursuing the music industry, post me trying to figure out ways to become the richest entrepreneur that I can become, no matter how much the money adds up, none of that can heal trauma. If you put that money towards the right places, yes. In some categories, am I significantly happier? Yes, I am. But in other areas, there are things that money becomes such a massive distraction because of all the things that you can do to avoid doing the things you need to do, addressing the things you need to do, that you never do them. You never address them. You never talk to them. I say this message specifically to those DIYers out there that are looking for this massive accomplishment for whatever that looks like for you to be the thing that's going to make everything make sense. That's going to reverse all the bad shit that you've gone through in life. That's not going to happen. The only way that you're going to reverse that is through the brute, hard, tedious, long work that it took for you to embed it within you. The same hard work is going to have to be applied to heal from him. Use me as a case example. Had one of the most financially successful careers of my life about a year before the pandemic. And you would think I couldn't be happier. And all I did was sit in his house and look around and say, is this it? Not that I'm ungrateful, but I start to really think about and take account for all the things that I had to go through and said, was it all for this? These walls don't feel that much different from the apartment walls. <laughs> yeah, I can pay for like cool shit, but that'll make me happy. What truly makes me happy is knowing that every day that I come here to create content, I am not only helping others, I'm helping myself by expressing myself. I'm educating myself, but I'm also providing for my family. And that doesn't require $5 million to do that. But when the happiness factor has been addressed and whatever you want to pursue in this music, you have a very rare cheat code that you'd be surprised. So many of the people that you look up to haven't gotten yet. How can you tell? Look at the things that they value. Look at the things that they show you to impress you. And then ask yourself the question, does that feel like someone who was happy? If you got a happiness, you already you already won the game. At this point, it's not even about being content. It's about understanding your spiritual needs for every human being, your ability to grow and your ability to contribute to more than just yourself. You find those categories, there's not much they can bring to you. No matter who the celebrity name is, no matter who the rapper or the producer is that comes your way, it's not many things that can present to you that'll make it a hell yes. When you're already living in your hell yes, you have the freedom and the flexibility as a DIY to do whatever the hell you want. To me, that sets me off in the most happiness that I could ever think of. I get to wake up and do the things that I truly want to do to take care of the things I need to take care of. I'm not complaining, but it's very interesting to hear such a successful and accomplished songwriter who wrote one of the biggest songs of the 2000s. It's very interesting to hear that perspective. When you start to look for it, you'll recognize it's not as uncommon as some of you may think. What are your thoughts? DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.